All right, let's move on to Japan topping their league. League. Zone. Japan topping their zone. Germany beating Costa Rica. Four goals to two. But still, they're on their way home. What do you think overall about this group? Group E. The group, as I heard one of the commenters say, commentator said it's upside down <laughs> because <laughs> it's not it's not because that would mean costa rica would top as a nonsense <laughs> well well i guess at a point in time it was costa rica and japan look like the favorites to go oh yeah, 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 yeah because <laughs> costa rica was up to one yes exactly yes, so yes. but japan topping the group very 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 highly unlikely i don't know anyone not even the japans themselves thought that they would have actually been able to do that with the likes of spain germany two recent world cup winners powerhouses in world football and the funny thing japan beat both those teams and lost to costa rica the worst <laughs> team in the in, in, in the in the zone so they were able to beat their the two better oppositions and in both games it's like history repeating itself because they went down yeah, they came and from came behind. back in both occasions and to get that victory honestly i don't know if spain was in a position to knowing that if they lost this game they would have dropped out if the game would have finished differently i'm wondering um no i think Jap Japan was very, very good in this game. Um, so the first half, all Spain, as we knew, right? Uh, Japan came out in the second half, start came up with a different game plan. They were pressing more instead of like just allowing Spain to have possession and all of these things. Got two quick goals, and then they fall into a very defensive mindset. I don't like that, but that's what they did but they, they they were very committed disciplined as far as defense as far as defense was concerned and they managed to see out pretty much uh i would say like 40 minutes of football without spain getting any true opportunity to score so i think we have to credit japan more than thinking that it was just like a spain underperform i just think that japan like really stick to their game plan and got got the job done yeah because after japan got the second goal it seemed like japan started to play six at the back <laughs> they were just defending but then there's a big controversy surrounding that second goal with japan did that ball go outside honestly i'm what seeing a lot think? of different angles initially when i first saw it it looked like it went out but they said they have goal line technology and the moment I realized why I was taking so long to make a decision, I knew ah. it would stand. Because oh, once Japan. you said, <laughs> <laughs> but honestly to me, and based on all the things that I'm seeing, the pictures, I don't know if they are edited or Photoshop, but the ball look like it is outside. And I'm seeing some angles. Ah, the ball look is like in, bro. <laughs> the ball is in. Ball some is big in. controversy. If they claim they have technology, I say the ball is in the ball is in you know what i'm saying so what are we to say but, otherwise, but no? the truth is people forget that technology is also man created man made and can have flaws people act like technology can't have any form of glitch or flaw because even today the, the the penalty that they call back for croatia that they say was offset that's kind of iffy to me i'm looking at it and be like shouldn't be called back for offside that 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 is too tight exactly. to say it was offside but yeah um i think that ball was in it was not fully over the line i think that, that maybe you know a shave of the ball was still on the line <laughs> and that's good enough 